Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing something a little different than what I usually do for when I make any type of HID lamp video on my YouTube channel. This particular video is going to be an explanation of all of the lamp code descriptions used for colored metal halide lamps. Now these particular metal halide lamps shown here are not just standard natural white or 3000, 4000, or 5000K. These are actually colored metal halide lamps. They actually put out different colors because of different halide salts. So that's one thing to know, is that each colored metal halide lamp shown here on camera have different types of halide salts used from the periodic table, some of which are, you know, whatever, to make up a specific color of what, you know, color you'd like inside the arc tube when the lamp is in operation. But first off, here is my mercury vapor bulb, and, um, some of these lamp descriptions on um, colored metal halide lamps have a little bit of a DX label along with a different letter to represent the color. So first off, you can see the DX label on this mercury vapor bulb tells me that this is a deluxe white mercury vapor bulb here. But that is not the purpose of this video. I'm just giving you a little hint of what colored metal halide lamp descriptions look like of each like different letter and what they mean. So anyways, I'm going to tell you each halide salt for each different colored metal halide lamp. Get the camera to focus first. There we go. So I'm going to tell you each halide salt used in each colored metal halide lamps that I own. Or if you lighting enthusiasts know what each colored metal halide lamp is, you can list them in the comments and tell me what the halide salts are in each colored metal halide lamp. So the first colored metal halide lamp that I am going to be showing you here is on the far left. This one is my plus right magenta metal halide lamp. And how do you know, how do you enthusiasts know if this is a standard metal halide lamp or if it's colored metal halide? Because the arc tube here on this lamp here looks kind of familiar like on a white metal halide lamp. Let me show you a different white metal halide lamp shown here. My Philips 250 watt lamp right there has two coatings of ceramic on the arc tube right there. So that tells me that that's a white metal halide lamp and it has different halide salts. But as for this one, this is a magenta lamp because the halide salts in this one are a little different. You can see the halide salts are like gray in color and you know on the arc tube wall which is kind of interesting. But the lamp etch is what you need to pay most attention to when reading colored metal halide lamps. So the way you can tell if it's a magenta metal halide lamp, or if it's just regular, is by this little label on the far right of the lamp etch. If you see my finger, you can see the MDX label right there. So the letter M tells me, or you lighting enthusiasts if you're watching this video, that this M means that this puts out a magenta color at full brightness. This one has a M meaning magenta, and there's each and different letters used for each colored metal halide lamp that I have seen on the internet. And then the DX meaning deluxe, like on my mercury vapor bulb. You can see the DX right there. So that's the first lamp. And the halide salts used in magenta metal halide lamps are indium, IN, sodium, and A, and lithium, LI. So those are the three different halide salts in magenta metal halide lamps. So the next color that we're gonna be discussing here is this one here. You can see this one has a clear arc tube with no coatings of ceramic on both ends, but it's still a universal burn position. All of these three lamps here are universal operating positions. So anyways, this one is my green metal halide lamp. And this was the first colored metal halide lamp that I bought off the internet. But how do you know if it's a green metal halide lamp? Well, look at the far right on the bottom of the lamp description. You can see the GDX label right there. The G telling me, or you lighting enthusiasts, that this is a green metal halide lamp, G standing for green, which kind of makes sense, and then the DX meaning deluxe. So green deluxe, and then, of course, we have magenta deluxe. So, and the halide salts in green metal halide lamps are is only one element, and it that one is thallium, or TL. So this one produces a nice vivid green color, and um, the halide salts in green metal halide lamps here, this one here, is thallium, or TL. So that's the second lamp that I am discussing to you guys. If you want to research a little bit more about colored lamps, try to get them as fast as they can before they go out of stock. So anyways, the last lamp is actually my favorite colored metal halide lamp. 
you can see the earth tube on this one is also clear compared to my green one. And then this one has a different color. You can see this one here. This one is my, this one's my absolute favorite. This one here is my plus right metal halide blue. This one's a blue metal halide lamp. And how can you tell if it's blue or just a regular lamp? Just look at the etch on the far right. I don't know if you can see it, but it says BDX right there. And that tells me that the letter B tells me that this puts out a blue color at full brightness. And then the DX telling me that this is, it's also deluxe, so it might put out a little bit more whitish blue at full brightness because of the pressure in the arc tube. So anyways, the BDX tells me that's a, it's a blue deluxe metal halide lamp, so. And the halide salts in this arc tube here, or the color itself of this lamp here, is indium only. This one is only indium, or IN. You can see the halide salts are like violet. And this kind of reminds me of an aquarium metal halide lamp because it kind of uses the same elements as well, although it uses indium iodide for aquarium metal halide lamps. 10,000, 14,000, or 20,000 K metal halide lamps. So anyways, this is my favorite colored metal halide lamp of all time. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this little explanation of all of the different lamp descriptions used for colored metal halide lamps. I hope this video finds you helpful, and if you have any questions about this video, please put them in the comments below. So, and as always, please comment, share, rate, and subscribe, and thank you all very much for watching this explanation video.